All right, who are we playing as yet? Oh, we're back to fancy businessmen. Their hands won't stop shaking. Both amulets are glowing. Has the time come, master? Has the time finally come, master? Sir Victor. What a true joy to see you here. Everyone, please come and welcome our guest of honor, Sir Victor of Arcadia, the creative mind behind all of our favorite theater plays. Now, we want to know at last, Sir Victor. What is the secret behind your stories? Are they based on true events? Have you experienced them yourself? My dear Rosamund, the lack of knowledge about this gives the story extra flavor. Any answer to your question would only disappoint you in the end, so please allow me to give you no answer. Of course he made them up. Sir Victor has written dozens of stories and plays. How could he have experienced them all within a lifespan, my lady? But isn't Sir Victor an heir? I did not know that. This is the first time I am meeting one. I'm not surprised. We are a very rare breed, Lady Rosamund. Besides, we look identical to humans. So how old are you, if you may ask, allow me the question? This is difficult to say, but when the University of Ni Nysa was still standing in Valid Valandis, I was well alive and breathing. That was 500 years ago. For heaven's sakes, you have experienced the legendary city of Nysa in its golden age? He even studied there. My goodness, then you're able to wield m magic? My magic is a bit rusty, but yes, I was born in a time when magical potential of all races was much further developed. How exciting! The princess here is not the only one who's able to wield magic. Oh, forgive my foolish mouth. Your situation is different, of course. Sir Victor. He is very old. He is older than I thought. Please excuse me, Sir Victor, you're needed. Understood, my good Heinlein. Princess, ladies and gentlemen, please excuse me. Was that all right? Perfect, Heinlein. A little break is exactly what I needed now. As discussed by your hand signal, you were literally bombarded with questions. True, although I much prefer being the listener. If you allow me to remark, I could not do all this. I imagine these diplomatic talks must be exhausting. Obi-Wan vibes? I don't think he's gonna die, though. You get used to it. Such events only serve the purpose to present oneself and make a good impression. Don't try to argue and just repeat what they say and all is well. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> Shall I show you the, how to behave in such circles? I am most curious, Sir Victor. Alright, what do we got? Pressure point. Magical wind attack. I'll want this eventually, but right now I don't think I need it. Lowers incoming damage by 10% wearing heavy armor. Since the counter. Like curing a random ailment on self. This doesn't seem. This seems very niche right now. This seems very niche because, like, it doesn't heal you. It cures a random ailment. So this, this, the usefulness of this is going to depend entirely on how much enemies use um, ailments throughout the game. So I feel, I, I feel, I don't feel too terribly interested in picking this prospectively. Is that is that the word? Picking it ahead of time. Um, whereas, which is, I think, a reason why I don't want to pick this just yet, because I don't know how large my party size is, I don't know which party members I'm going to use, and I already have wind damage, so I don't know if I want t him to have a wind attack right now. <laughs> um, so I don't feel comfortable picking this perspectively either. That being said, like, what else am I going to get? Like, magic plus two? Well... It's not countering the ailments themselves, though. It's the it's the it's countering physical attacks specifically by healing an ailment, which means that it, I guess maybe it could counter a physical attack that applies an ailment, but otherwise it's not countering the ailment itself. It's countering something. It's countering something different. 
but yeah, I'm sure it, I'm sure it is because this is a passive and not an active. This seems like it could either be really good or really niche, and I'm not sure right now. I mean, I guess we could go for coverage. I don't feel great about that, but eh. Everything is going according to plan. Good, very good. Nothing must go wrong. Oh, this is Sigurd. Sigurd, yeah, this is the counselor, the, the leader of this city, nation, place. Lord Sigurd is pretty nervous, but that's to be expected. Whoa. After such a long war, peace could be a very fragile thing. I could not imagine the repercussions if something bad were to happen at the banquet. It could mean a new war. I don't think the goat's evil. Oh, how- wait, what? The fuck you just say to me? But no, 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 Sigurd, Sigurd's the guy that wants the peace treaty, I think. Unless I've gotten my names mixed up, which is entirely possible. But I thought the Sigurd was the leader of this nation, which is potentially being taken advantage of by the nation that is organizing the peace treaty. While Nebrelia in the west has been caught in a civil war for the past few decades, Arnsreich, Arnsreich's pacifist, pacifistic king in the east does not come down from his mountains. These are the reasons why Valandis has been spared an invasion from beyond its borders for so far. But things could change at any moment. Sigurd is a chancellor. Yeah, but it's the chancellor of this country, right? Not the, the country that's recovering. I was thinking about the church. People everywhere in El Eldria find this new monotheistic faith great. Oh god, Christianity. Promises a modern attitude to life and advertises various gadgets that are supposed to make life better. Oh god, capitalism, Christianity. But to be honest, this church reminds me more of a business than a religious community. I'll stick with the old gods. That's Sir Raphael over there. As a high inquisitor, he is never allowed to take off his helmet in public. I wonder how he's going to eat all this food very carefully. Same way that that guy in um, Octopath 2 does. To the north is Terran and his capital Tormund. Years ago, the king fell seriously ill, and since then, the young Prince Frederick has been ruling. In the northeast lies Gravos, the capital of Wernshire, is ruled by Lady Parnelia, Parnella. But since the annexation of a, a year ago, she is now nothing more than a puppet of Terran. We here in the south are in, are in Farnspart, the capital of Escania. Princess Amelia is too young to rule, so Chancellor Sigurd takes over all the responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Sigurd is the Chancellor of this country. Her Princess Amelia of Escania is said to be able to wield magic. She's of noble blood, so it is not uncommon for strong ether to flow through her veins. No, no, Princess Amalia's case is different. D do you think she made a pact? Shh, not so loud. The princess doesn't like to talk about it. Interesting. What is my mission, actually? Journal and quests? <laughs> Gather intel, prepare for some questioning. Oh, prepare for, for some questioning. Oh! Okay, um, interesting. I hope I don't have to remember all this. <clears throat> We're in Escania. Terran is the country that's going to take advantage of this one. <laughs> oh, Sir Victor, I'm delighted. I can hardly wait to inaugurate the new cathedral. I'm assuming this is our ruler of Terran. It is an honor to welcome you and so many other distinguished guests. See, the north is Ter north. Terran is north. Northeast is Gravos. Here is Farnsport. You talked enough. I, I guess so. 
Nice to have you here, Sir Victor. I am proud that so many have accepted my invitation today. There is only one person that I miss. Fuck. Okay, well, it's not Scania. Oh, God. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Did somebody help? I should have saved. I didn't see a princess, so I'm gonna assume it's from Gravos. Lead Parnella, but she's over there. Fuck! I mean, Prince Frederick of Terran, of course. I wasn't paying attention to names. My only weakness! Very, very grateful for this contribution to this peace. You know, once Princess Amalia comes of age, I plan to hand her a, ki a kingdom of peace, not one of bloodshed and hunger. Speaking of the princess... I have- I think I haven't informed- haven't intro officially introduced you to her royal highness, Princess Amalia. I should have saved. I should have saved. This is on me. I didn't get a fancy prize. Good day, sir. I do revolve versus in magic. Are people talking about it? My mother used to read me your stories, Sir Victor. So thanks to you, I have at least one good memory of her. <clears throat> Come, princess. There's someone else I would like you to meet. Ah, Sir Victor, there you are. Here is someone I would like to introduce you to. This is Sir Raphael. Of your personal guard, the High Inquisitor himself, I am honored. I am no less honored to meet a man of your reputation. I would like to talk to you after the ceremony, Sir Victor. I think your fame might be helpful in spreading the one faith here in Van Valendis. Oh no! No, he's, he's the Christian capitalist! Oh, look over there, Sir Raphael. There is someone else I need to introduce you to. Oh, Sir Victor, it was interesting to see how you conducted yourself in the guest of this banquet. The replies were sometimes spot on. A guest has given me this, me this for you. And that I think your f first course is being served. After that, Bishop Zaka... I actually think I got both answers wrong for the, the princess. Because I think the princess... I think they said that she doesn't like talking about magic. First course is being served. After that, Bishop Zac Zac uh, Zacchaeus will inaugurate the cathedral. If, if I can, if I can load my autosave and I don't get an autosave after this cutscene, which I probably will, um, I'll definitely go back and try again. <laughs> Dang soldiers! What are they doing here? Time for a little summary of today's events. I've heard you were both stationed in the residential area of Farnsport. Yes, sir. D so. Did anything suspicious happen? Only small incidents. A wallet was stolen from the counter of a bar. We had a witness. Apparently a woman clad in red was the culprit. There was also a man taking a nap on his bench. His belongings were stolen as well. Finally, a man reported that some money was stolen from his home when he was having a dinner. He caught the thief, but she managed to escape. It was a person with, with red hair and red clothes. That's all, sir. I guess it's to be expected to have some thievery during such an event. You found eyewitnesses for almost all incidents. Well done, soldiers. I wonder if it's possible then to avoid all of them. I guess I can give you both some good rewards for this chest from this chest here. Now go and get me the thieves. Sir, yes, sir. Hmm, does that incident sound familiar? Let's see what reward the captain didn't give to his soldiers. Yeah, so this is on me. I fucked up, I guess. Let's go. So what else did I want from you, Dragon Killer, Undead Killer? These also feel like I don't want to pick these pro prospectively. I don't want to... I guess crit rate would be good. And then... These two seem good, but I don't know if I want them just yet. Because I don't know what I'm fighting coming up. I actually would assume that I'd be fighting humanoids, but we'll see. I'll go for crit. I'll probably go for these two as well, and then I'll take one of these. Maybe crit plus five. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Right. So I only get three passives. So I have to be careful with this. That's good, though, because, like, I, I want to tune these to what I'm fighting against.
So, like, after this point, I think anything that I pick... Um... Attack Overdrive. Okay, how do I get to... How do I get to this chest, though? Maybe there's, like, a secret door? Oh. <laughs> you can just walk around. The perspective made that a little hard. So I'm guessing I could have gotten something better if I had conducted myself more smartly. I guess I was supposed to drink a lot of alcohol. It's my guess for getting the that that one correct. Horn times four. Wait, but how? How go? Oh, like this? Yeah, perspective really makes these look closer to the wall than they are. There's no more. There's definitely gonna be some sort of crafting. Look what we got here. Aren't you beautiful? We will waste the hands to darling over to that gang of common thieves. Let's see what else their sewer key can open on my way back. I can't believe he took us off the case. We should have been the ones to search for further assassins. Instead, we were transferred here. Captain couldn't have known that a revolt would start at the East Gate. We simply lacked the men. Or he's an, or it's an inside job. We simply lacked the men, which is why we are here now. The real problem is that we are now too close to the banquet. What if someone recognizes you? No one expects the Princess of Terran to be here. The handful of people who could recognize me most likely assume there to be an incredible resemblance. Above all, people usually only know me in other clothes, hairstyle, and... Princess? Rob! S sorry, I mean lean. That's not what I mean. Over there. Look over Look over there. That is the man who, who talked to the robbers in the cave. But isn't that... I did not recognize him at first without his uniform in the dark. It is General Mahai of Terran. But that makes no sense. Why would he be in league with the bandits? I wonder if Prince Frederick is aware of his actions. My brother proposed a peace treaty. Why would he plan an assassination that would cancel it? Who knows what's happening in Tormund. We've been away from home for so long. We finally have peace after 150 years. How could the general destroy my brother's efforts like this? Do we report this to the commander? That can have huge consequences. I... I need to get some fresh air first. Alright, this will do you some good. Rob? You hear that? Nothing, nothing, and nothing. There should be some information here. Are you sure that you've searched everything? Yes, if there are any documents on the grimoire, it wouldn't be it would be here. It just doesn't make any sense. Calm down. We are talking about a weapon that can destroy an entire region. Maybe the documents are better hidden. Sorry, it's just Don't let it get to you, Glenn. Who placed that stone in Wormshire? Terran, I would guess. It was protected by its soldiers. But you've seen what this stone does. Why would Prince Frederick sacrifice his own men? I was so sure that it might have been Ascania's doing somehow. They are the only ones who had something to gain from this catastrophe, but there's nothing here. Who knows what they intended to do with the Grimoire and what further functions this stone wields. Maybe they never wanted to use it in this form. Maybe if I hadn't come and smashed it... Don't start this again. You can't... Who are you and what are you doing here? Their weapons should be answer enough. This can't be good. Stay calm, Glenn. Let's get out of here. Stop! You cannot escape! Th that should be can't. This way. Dead end. Uh, that's not a dead end! There's a ladder there! No, we take the ladder. You don't even know where it leads to. Who cares now? Come, you just have to lose them. Oh, great lord, we thank you once again that th th with this war's end, we can finally carry the true faith to Volandis. This new church will offer people a safe passage to a peaceful future. May the light of faith guide us into prosperity. Oh, it. Now we can gladly return to the banquet. 
I have been told that the main course will be stuffed Roland with pig ears. Watch where you step. The wooden bars are slippery. You cannot escape. Do you want to fall to your death? Up there. Glenn, look out. Who are you? Glenn. They're armed. Don't move. This is a disaster. You don't have to tell me that. Are you okay, princess? I I'm fine. Who, who are you? Everyone, arrest them. Can it be? Princess Celestia? Lower your weapons, I said. We are from the city guard. There's no need to point your weapons at us. Who's going to believe you in your civilian outfit? I didn't ask for your opinion, thief. Get the commander. He will... Last warning. Throw away your weapons. We must clarify this. No choice but to use force, then. Oh, that's gonna be our thief friend, probably. Finally outside. I knew this pipe would lead me out of the sewers. You're not very good at this, are you? I must have made a wrong turn. So, meet again. Failed this mission horribly. Oh my god, how exciting! Sir Victor is ever Sir Victor, is everything fine? The color has left your cheeks. This is impossible. This is... What are they doing here? On my command! Wait, if she really is the princess... Three, two, one. An earthquake! This is no ordinary earthquake. Something's coming. I don't believe. Yeah, no, no, sorry to interrupt. I've got to go. It's suddenly so warm. Call that warm. I'm burning. Uh, up there. What is that? A stained glass painting. It's a beetle. Watch out. Uh, a demon. What is happening? Ah! Everyone, escape immediately. Yeah, Amanda's beetle or something. P princess H Hey, leave her alone. Bad idea, Glenn. Oh, right, you have a portrait too. Are you joining us? Your rampage ends here, demon. I shall be your opponent. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. You there, come now. Let's get... Uh, I'm, I'm doing the Dunban voice for some reason. You there, come now. Let's get out of here. Run, Glenn. 